Okay, you're gonna have to hear me out in this video. Now, I've been talking a while about these movements in the market. The fact that we get this nice big push up in the cryptocurrency market followed by some significant news that dumps the market. Well, today has been no exception. We've got a nice rally, 28,100, grab some liquidity, a solid strong move, and then we get the news that Elon Musk has been sued. Gary Gensler not happy with what he's doing. What's going on with this one? I'm going to break it all down. How is it affecting the cryptocurrency markets and CBDCs? Why they are the government movement to get your cryptocurrency and data. If you like this sort of video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash a like, and let's get into this. So like you said, Elon Musk is being sued by the SEC for his purchase of Twitter. This is breaking news, by the way, 21 minutes ago. So do make sure you share this content far and wide. But ultimately, what has happened? Well... It says here, the SEC has filed a legal action against Elon Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur and Dogecoin supporter, seeking to compel his testimony regarding the acquisition of Twitter. Now, for many people, it was a bit of a messy purchase, I think is the honest answer. $44 billion was the deal that was agreed. And ultimately, the complaint was filed by the SEC and expressed concerns over Musk's refusal to comply with administrative subpoena. Now, if you were to guess on any reason as to why the SEC wanted to look into Musk's purchase of Twitter, well, what would it be? Well, the answer is here, that the SEC's attorney argued that it's non-compliance and impending and delaying their investigation into the potential violation of federal securities law. Of course it is, Gary Gensler. Why not? You can't go after cryptocurrency. XRP is no longer going to be a thing. So now sue Elon Musk. That feels like the right thing to do. It says, consequently, the SEC sought the court's intervention to request Musk's appear for investigative testimony. Now, if you're in my live stream, you know that was a difficult word for me to say, but it says here, Elon Musk did fire back. Now, this is an Elon Musk parody Twitter account. It's not actually Elon Musk. We haven't got an official statement, but I guess the sentiment is probably right. It says, why is the SEC looking to my purchase of Twitter X? Every day it's something different. One week it's the Biden administration. Another week it's the SEC. Another week it's something else. I literally want to build free speech, electric cars, and put humans on Mars. Why don't they like me? Ultimately, we get this. It's kind of crazy to think about. We got this nice move on the market. And then yesterday we got the fact that the SEC was going to sue Coinbase and take that further. We now have the SEC suing Twitter. Where does it get us to? What's the purpose? What's my view? I think it's a last ditch hurrah. It's the clinging of anything possible. It's suppressing the market. We already know there's a view right now from many in Congress that Gary Gensler has had his time, that he needs to move on. But it's really, really poignant and timely that these things do come out. You can see here on the Bitcoin chart when it comes to cryptocurrency, this massive spike up here on that big news coming in the 1st of October, followed by a dump. Yesterday, we got a good solid move up, followed once again by by that dump, the SEC suing Coinbase. And then today, again, rallied all the way up 28,150. We hit that liquidity zone that we talked about. I mean, it played out exactly as we thought. What I didn't expect to see was this dump all the way back down about 1.3%. Why? But then the Elon Musk being sued as well as some further developments in that SEC Coinbase case. All pretty crazy for me. The only person that is being in, you know, in any way harmed apart this is the US investor. It's the US digital asset. But there is a more sinister approach to this. I think this is where it all starts to build out when we start talking particular about CBDCs and why they would want someone like Elon Musk to be suppressed. Because why? Well, central, central bank digital currencies are poised to get politicians unprecedented power to track your data, restrict your movements, and control your life. Remember, these will be a digital currency held by governments. And I think this is where it's going to be very, very interesting. We already know that your digital footprint is everywhere. You know, you can't like, kind of do anything without your digital footprint put out there. But CBDCs will almost become even worse. We saw that in China not long ago. If you got a speed ticket it was tracked back to your digital wallet and instantly you were fined on that but it says here cbdc's have emerged as a prominent topic in the financial world the promise of elevated stability security efficiency and reduced corruption central banks the international monetary fund the world economic forum and world bank tell us cbdc's are a panacea waiting to cure all that ails our financial system. Now, the important thing here is digital currency will become the forefront of our financial currency. It's the way that we can move money around the globe at a fraction of the cost. Remember, we're not going to be printing money forever. This will change. We talked about this again in my live stream, but ultimately, what has it got? Well, it's going to allow your digital wallet, your digital footprint, how you spend and transact, whatever it is, to be tracked centrally. That's why they are a central bank digital currency. Right now, when you walk into your bank, they ask you what you want to do with your money. Why are you taking your money out? And this is, in my opinion, another step 
towards that. You're going to be questioned as to why you're moving your Bitcoin. You're going to be questioned as to why you want to buy that ERC-20 tokens. And I think that's where it all becomes very, very poignant. And again, worthwhile thinking about and see there, the fact that retail CBDCs is electronic cash held at a central bank will fundamentally change our legal ties to our money with physical cash. We are always the proprietor and holder of those coins and notes in our pockets with CBDCs. We will only be the proprietor of the digital cash. We will never be the holder of that money as it will be held in our name at a central bank. Once again, digital assets, cryptocurrency is the financial breakthrough. It allows the, you know, the average Joe to make it. We all understand it. We all absolutely believe why cryptocurrency is going to be huge. This for me, if they build them out themselves, is another way of stifling innovation, holding down the masses and fundamentally managing your money and assets and financial footprint. And I think it's a very dangerous thing to talk about, one of which we absolutely should be on the forefront on. I'm all for CBDCs if it's held in a decentralized platform like something like XRP or even something else where the decentralized nature of cryptocurrency is held there. However, CBDCs from a government, I'm absolutely not in that world. Um, interestingly, on the market, like we said, down about 0 uh, 1%, 1.08 trillion and 13.4% down on volume. So we're going to see what the rest of this week looks like. Could see some more downside moves. We're expecting Ethereum to head down 1600, maybe even a bit lower fear and greed index sitting at 45. So a pretty interesting week. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Gary Gensler's time is up? Likewise, do you think CBDCs are a good or a bad thing? Drop it down below as ever. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash a like if you enjoy this sort of content. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.